Hello, good day to everyone, and I welcome you to the another episode on mold flows, tips, and workflow. In this episode, we are going to discuss about the design analysis within the Fusion 360. If you already have a subscription to the Autodesk mold flow product, then you should have an access to the Fusion 360 solution as well. Well, if you are not installed the Fusion 360, I'll give you a few of the recommendation to get started with the Fusion 360. First and foremost that you should log into the manage.autodesk.com with the credentials as an account manager. If you don't have it, please reach out to the concerned person within your organization and look out for the credentials so that they give you the access for the Fusion 360. Once you have installed the Fusion 360, this needs an extension called as a product design. Now this extension is on top of the normal Fusion 360, so probably you need to buy it out. But before buying out, you may want to check how it could be useful for, for you. So one of the use that the product design extension within the Fusion 360 could be for the design analysis. Let's look at it. Now I'm in the Fusion 360 and I have opened an assembly of around like eight components and this is an actually a assembly of an wall. Now as you know that this assembly uh, could be made of metal or could be made of plastics. So far for the time being we assume that this is made up of nylon 66 30% glass filled material. Now we did mention about I did mention about that this is a design check. So probably in the extension once you install the Fusion 360 go into the extensions and this should give you an access to the various extensions that are available over here. So look out for the product design extensions and you can run a 7 days trial to check, see whether the product design extension makes sense for you or your organizations before subscribing it. So for this demonstration probably you need an you know a Fusion 360 extensions to get started with it. So as I mentioned 7 days trials are available so you can try it on this. Once you install the present plastic uh, product design extensions you should see an icon over here at plastics. Now there are like in various tools very specifically available for the plastic product design you want to go and explore it so like in, in one click you can create rips you know snaps you know uh, patterns and so and so forth but what we are going to look over here is a design check now once you import the part and get started make sure that you know you should say that capture the design history okay here you should mention all that capture the design history once you see a capture design history then you will get an something called as an icon over here as as inspection or or the design analysis this icon should be visible to you okay probably once i click on the design analysis it will ask you which body to be for to be checked for the design I'm looking out for the main body for the design check. Click on this and it shows that no plastic rule is assigned. So plastic rule are the something guidelines that will be used during the analysis of the product design. So probably for the first time you can go and check out the assigned plastic design guidelines. Now what is this all about? is the as I told you that in the plastic design book we have number of numerous guidelines that you no know, wall thickness should not be uh, less than such and such for this material and the duft angle should be this so all of these guidelines are been mentioned over here there are pre-populated guidelines for the materials okay um, like in this case I am going to select like an polyamide 2.5 mm and the question arises can I edit this one yes definitely you can go and edit it can I assign it before I start off yes before the start of the design analysis you can still assign the 
plastic guidelines or rules. Now you can see over here there's an icon called as a setup and this will should allow you to to manage the guidelines. So one is the setup that is you assign it before you start and other is the manage guidelines. So if you click on the manage guidelines you say that currently in this design you already assigned but there is an option that you can create a new plastic guide plastic uh, rule just click it on it and it should allow you to create an a new rule based upon this you can edit it each and all everything on this comprise of the you know physical material or which you want to select so there are different types of you know plastic materials are available here to select upon minimum wall thickness and so on and so forth so i would leave it to you to design it or edit it as per your requirement for the time demonstration purpose we'll go ahead with the nylon pa6 2.5 mm okay close it and it will ask you the second thing once you select the body the second thing is to select is the pull directions now where this pull direction how it is going to be you know getting a pulled out from the wall better that i usually go and uh, assign it on to the uh to the to the i would say the area where or the plane at which the mold gets split as core and cavity that's the best to get started so put it over here and it should show you the arrow i'm going to point it as in the z directions this is the z directions and i'm pointing it towards the z direction for it and i'm going to do an analysis analyze so it what it shows it shows that how is your design before the manufacturability it shows that you know large thickness variation and then undercuts and draft angles and and the knife edges this is something a pre-check before we get started with the analysis let's look at into the each and every uh, of the design checks so when you click on to the thickness uh, it is showing that it too large variation thickness or probably I would be interested into the two thick regions so it shows these are the two thick regions in your part could be very useful as a product designer so that I could understand that which areas are thick or they are been unnoticedly been you know left out or they have the some functionality that's the reason I have get this thicknesses I leave it to explore it to you to check out and there is also a recommendations that's the most important thing is that it comes with a recommendation that what next to be done actually or there so you can look out for right you know two last thick variations and then advice try to maintain a uniform wall thicknesses and thickness variation should be kept under the like 25 percent and so on and so forth with the design guidelines there's an option to isolate it's already like an uh, you know well uh, isolate the thick regions you can try it out that if you are getting too busy with this one you can isolate those thicker sections as well there's another plot called as a thickness plot well you would be able to see the thickness plot in much in detail in mold flow it could be an advisor or could be in insight but these functionalities also been made available to the product designers and engineers they can have a quick glance of the the thickness things you cannot do the query like we do it but pretty much we can look at the like how the variation and which is the thinnest section and the thickest sections in my part then we should move to the undercut now uh, you can see that it shows that these are the regions it has the undercuts i can isolate these or i want to isolate those from the rest of the body i can do that as well and there is always when i advise given that what should we do to minimize the undercuts and so and there is a draft angle shows that there is no draft angles actually the minimum draft angle that is 0.5 and uh, you know this could not be sufficient so these are the areas probably you want to check out whether the draft angles are given and your there could be a problem in checking the part knife edges we also call it as a sharp edges uh, this gets you know unnoticedly created in the part 
uh, just like you are you know when we are modeling uh, it just gets created because of the the sharp edges getting you know uh, it's crossed and though you create it into the your model uh, at the time of you know uh, mold manufacturing or more design they will just put the radius of but it is better to have a look at the knife edges that was pretty much on to the design check i hope uh, this uh, clip was helpful for you to do a design check and in next step we will go through the you know the upfront simulation within the fusion 360 as well and uh, if you think that product design uh, extensions could be helpful try subscribing it with that, we'll talk to you again next week. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.